Today, we're gonna be working on Fernando's car. Uh, I built this car about two years ago, I think. And it made like 650, six, yeah, 650, 640, or whatever. He daily driver for a little bit. He's got a twin disc, right? Because making all that power, you need a twin disc. So then the twin disc clutch start going out and it start causing a vibration on the uh, crank. So unfortunately, the turn wheel gave up and um, he was replacing the, the, cam, the crank sensor. He sent me a picture and it was completely destroyed. And I told him, dude, uh -uh, that's it. That, that crank sensor is done. That means the turn wheel came apart and it's gone. This is a stock uh, turn wheel. And I believe we welded it and did all this stuff and it still came apart. And I guess it's because of the vibration from the clutch going through the through the crank, you know, and that happened. So he pulled the oil pan, sent me some pictures. Luckily, that thing broke, I guess, at the right time or something. That the piece, it's just a big fucking piece that broke off. It just fall down into the, to the oil pan. No damage to the motor, no damage to the piston, no damage to anything else. So what I'm gonna be doing is, I'm gonna pull this motor out. I'm gonna pull the crank off. I'm gonna inspect all the bearings again since I'm gonna be there. And then I'm gonna take the broken tone wheel out and then I'm gonna put a billet one that he bought. At the same time, I'm gonna replace the clutch with the new um, spec, I think spec twin disc clutch. And then um, I think we're gonna be doing something with the transmission because he's having problems with first gear going in. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be checking that. So I'm gonna take that off, take the ton the ton wheel, the stock ton wheel off, and then put the new one in, put the bolts, dog weld it, and then go from there and hopefully it's good. So yeah, let me start taking this thing apart and then we go from there. I'll show you whenever I pull the, the crank and then how it looks. And then yeah. So hopefully everybody knows how to remove the motor and axles and you know all the videos that i'm showing you but i will do some time lap when i'm pulling the motor out so right now i'm gonna start taking the intake manifold uh the radiator um the cooling i'm gonna take the cooling off drain the transmission the motor's already drained and then yeah start working on it so let me get to it and then i put some time lapse took the oil pan off the clutch man i never seen a twin disc what twin disc twin disc hey yo dead ass g my bad pimp twin disc so fucked up like this one let me show you um i saw something over here this is part of the clutch it's crazy so here's the motor. I took the oil pan off. Like I said, I took the clutch. And here it is the tunnel wheel. It's broken. So while I was removing the oil pan and the motor and everything, I noticed that the crank bolt is also loose. So this clutch got so bad, 
and uh, Fernando keep driving it, they create so much vibration through the whole crank. They got the flywheel loose. The flywheel bolt came loose. Um, the front bolt, the crank bolt came loose. Uh, and yeah, I mean, the clutch is completely destroyed. Check it out. So, here's the pressure plate, it's got some damage. Look at this. Look at this shit. This is crazy. Gone, gone, gone. This is the other floater. Look at this. And the flower, I guess the pieces are from the clutch disc. It was just bouncing around on the flywheel. You know, and that make the flywheel come loose and overheated the shit out of it. So, at this point, I don't think I'm going to risk it with this crank. Because it, it went through a lot of vibration. So, I think I'm going to put a new crank on this one. Uh, billet tone wheel. Uh, we have a new spec clutch that we're going to put on. And then once that's done, put it back. I'm going to take the oil pump off. And inspect it because like I said everything had a vibration uh, bearing looks okay I took two of the two of the rock cups and uh, they look good this motor has been built for two years uh, two years two years and a half and it made 650 horsepower but he daily driver for a while on the twin disc which yeah this is yeah twin disc won't take that much to you know to go out on daily driver so we got a, a spec clutch that is um, a street slash track you know so hopefully it will last a little longer he's got a new daily drive so he won't be daily in this car so it's gonna be kind of like a weekend and maybe take it to a track and you know go from there so transmission looks good uh, but I'm still gonna take the transmission apart because he was having problems with first gear so we're gonna fix that too um, but yeah it's, it's crazy it's crazy 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 look at that and it's just this, everything else is complete. It's just this, this part that is not touching the crank that the vibration, you know, made it, made it come loose. Luckily for him, it didn't damage the piston. It, it just kind of snapped and just lay it on the bottom of the oil pan. And then that was it. But everything started at the clutch. So yeah, a, a slipping clutch or a twin disc clutch that comes this bad or, or, go, or get this bad will cause some big problem to the engine um, some of the bolts got all stripped and that's why I don't want to risk it with this crank because I don't know if the threads are good or not so yeah I'm not I'm not gonna risk it so I already talked to Fernando I already told him like hey man look this was going on so I, I recommend to replace the, the the crank so I'm gonna pull it off inspect it inspect the oil pump and then like i said more likely i'm gonna put a new crank on it um new bearings uh just because i'm switching the crank if i was gonna stay with the same crank i use the same bearings so they're still in good condition but if i'm replacing the crank might as well replace the bearings and um you know refresh it pretty much so he won't have no problems and um uh, yeah so it's already 11 yeah, 11 at night and I got to work tomorrow. So we're going to stop here for today. And then, um, yeah, we're going to try to get a new crank. On the meantime, I'm going to be bringing Ugo's car because Ugo's car also have a, a similar problem like this. We we're putting a hot tech on it. Or, uh, Paul was putting a hot tech and uh, we didn't have any crank signal. And when he put the crank sensor, he saw that the tone wheel kind of like hit it just a little bit i don't know if the sensor was like that when i built the motor or it happened with this motor we don't know yet uh but we did have a problem before where the motor was just spiking 52 pounds of booze and it was cutting up pretty hard so we don't know if that caused the damage uh on that motor but we have another motor there uh, high compression um aluminum rods that was supposed to be for my personal car uh popcorn but I decided to keep the motor that I built for Ugo for that car. It's like a whole, a whole confusing thing. 
Anyways, that motor is like 11 to 5 compression. Hugo's motor is um, like a 7 to 5, 7 to 1 compression, pretty low. So we're going to switch that and um, get it back to a try, get it tuned, and then go from there. So I'm going to order the parts, put this one outside, work on the other one while I'm waiting on the parts, and then go from there. So, yeah, I, um, I come back and, and show you how to put a new one on. I'm going to get the new, the new crank with the billet tongue wheel from Real Tune Performance. I'm going to put the bolts with thread lock and tag weld them with silicone on the back like I always do to prevent this. But I mean that, I mean that's crazy. I mean, it, yeah, you, you can't do anything here. This, this is the only part that the tongue wheel doesn't touch the crank. So that's the weakest part. So with the, with the billet one, which would be good. So yeah, that's, that's all for today. Um, I tried to record me putting it back together. So peace. Well guys, unfortunately, I was trying to make this video, um, you know, all the way to when the car was running, but um, the cranks on back order, the bearings that I want to use on back order. So I think it's gonna, that's gonna be it for the video for this time. And then I'll make another video whenever I put everything back together, new crank, new bearings, new billet ton wheel from Real Tune. Um, yeah, Real Tune Performance. And then, um, yeah, put it all back together, put it on the car, turn it on, and then that was it. But, yeah, like I say, I'm waiting on parts now. So, once I get all my parts, I will make, a, I guess, a part two video. And for now, I'm just going to sit here until I get my parts. So, I hope you like the video, and stay tuned for number two. Ladies.